When Starfield was first announced, I knew that someone was going to create the ultimate Star Wars sandbox game. I was more excited for the Star Wars overhaul of Starfield rather than Starfield itself. I got pretty tired of Starfield when I first played it and I didn't even complete the game to be honest with you. I deleted it and I thought like maybe five years from now we were going to have a crazy mod pack that was Star Wars themed and then I would re-download it and try it. But here I am less than a year from Starfield's release date. We already have a mod pack that has over 200 mods that turns most of Starfield into a Star Wars experience. This is Star Wars Genesis. It's a Starfield mod pack that's available on Wabajack right now. It's a very easy download. Its author, Deity Vengi, is constantly working on ways to make this more than a reskin of Starfield. Every weapon in the game is changed and rebounds to Star Wars weapons. There are no vanilla Starfield weapons in the game. When you go to a shop, you're going to see Star Wars blasters. When you loot a dead body, you're going to see a Star Wars blaster. When you start the game with the alternate start, that is included in the mod pack, there's going to be a Star Wars blaster on you as a weapon. The only things that are vanilla that are in the weapon category that I've seen are the different melee weapons and also the cutters and the different um, mining tools that are in Starfield. Every spacesuit slash armor from Starfield is changed to a spacesuit slash armor from Star Wars. You're not going to see any of the vanilla spacesuits that are in Starfield. Even armors like the Mantis are changed to the Mandalorian's armor. So armors that are like special in Starfield, like rare, unique armors are changed to Star Wars themed armor. Along with changing the different weapons and armor in the game, they also changed the various factions into Star Wars factions. For example, the UC and the Freestar Collective are now the Empire and the Rebel Alliance, and they are actively at war with each other. When you fly into a UC space, which is now the Galactic Empire space, you're going to see these two factions at war with each other and getting into space battles. Right now, I have noticed that there are NPCs that are in the Rebel Alliance and the Empire talking to each other while on planet. So we will see how they update that. But for right now, there are various space battles going on between the Rebel Alliance and the Empire. But these two factions aren't the only factions that were changed. The Spacers are now Neo Crusaders. And instead of the Crimson Fleet Pirates, there are Shadow Collective Pirates. And their home planet is even renamed to Mandalore, which I thought was pretty cool. And I can't wait to see how they expand on the different empty planets in Starfield, making them into Star Wars themed planets. I can't wait to see that. The Vey Rune have been turned into the Sith Loyalists. The author of the mod pack is also going to add the Yuzan Vong as soon as the mod's ready. I'm assuming that they're going to replace the Starborn. For right now, the main story of Starfield is still there, and so are all the Starfield quests. But there's a lot of potential down the line that there will be a whole new quest line, different side quests that are Star Wars themed, and entire cities and planets that are Star Wars themed. I like the potential is crazy for this. I don't think you guys comprehend how hyped I am for this. The whole reason that I even re-downloaded Starfield was for this mod pack. And the whole reason that I even bought Starfield in the first place was because I knew that Bethesda games are extremely moddable and somebody was going to make a crazy sandbox Star Wars game that we have not had in a while and that we wanted and I don't know that I wanted personally. I think that it's going to be great when it when it comes to fruition in like a few years this mod pack might be like the ultimate Star Wars experience in my opinion. We have to see how uh Star Wars Outlaws goes, but you know, this right now is is definitely scratching that Star Wars sandbox itch for me. For right now the main cities are renamed. They're not totally revamped. For example, the UC city is now Coruscant it's imperial there's a bunch of imperial propaganda and insignias all over aquila city is now dantu town and it's on dantuin that's the rebel alliance capital those two cities still look like vanilla 
Starfield cities, except they have a bunch of propaganda and rebel or imperial insignia on them. But as we speak, there's a modder working on huge city overhauls to make these cities into Star Wars cities. So sit tight, keep your eyes on it. If you're not going to download the mod now, I suggest definitely keeping your eye on it. There are also new Star Wars character customization added in this mod pack. There are a bunch of different hair options like the Twi'lek tentacles that they have on their heads and um, even like the spikes that Darth Maul's species has. I don't know what the species is called, but they have those spikes and they even have the tattoos that Darth Maul has all on his face. So you can make a Darth Maul character, you can make a Twi'lek character and any of the Star Wars humanoid alien species, you can be that in this mod pack. But not only are you a Star Wars humanoid alien species, but the different NPCs and different characters are also turned into that based on where they are, which I think is pretty cool and immersive. It's extremely immersive. Besides not having a decent Star Wars quest line and decent Star Wars side missions, it's extremely immersive and extremely sandboxy. So besides the different NPCs getting turned into different alien species and the different factions being turned into Star Wars factions, the combat has been revamped so there are no more bullet sponges, which makes sense because if you're getting shot by a laser, you should probably drop. But you're also not that powerful either, so you get dropped in one or two shots as well, which I love that kind of combat system. It only makes sense. I love the realistic approach to combat that the mod pack author took with this he also revamped the economy so you can't just collect a bunch of random stuff and sell them and get rich over time doing that in order to make a decent amount of money you have to do bounty missions and the various missions that are posted on the mission boards and actually risk your life and go out and do the engaging combat that the author created in this mod pack which personally that's what i've been most engaged with for right now is the combat because the combat is hard and it's it's fun but that can only hold me over for so long without a decent star wars themed quest because it gets a little repetitive due to the fact that you're probably going to go out and do the same bounty mission over and over which leads into my point that this is very much a sandbox game there isn't that strong of a star wars narrative yet hopefully down the road like i said there's going to be a decent Star Wars quest line, but for right now, it's very much sandbox. You're living in this world that is getting more and more Star Wars themed as the updates come out. This mod pack really just makes you feel like another person in the galaxy trying to make it. And I think that's pretty cool. I like that. And over time, I think this is going to be one of the best Star Wars experiences that we will have for gaming. Especially if you're interested in a Star Wars game that isn't force sensitive focused and not jedi focused or sith focused where it's you're a bounty hunter or you're a smuggler or you're a pirate or just any experience where you're just a regular person in the star wars world i think this mod pack has a huge amount of potential especially when they come out with the overhauls for the cities creating entire planets that are based on tatooine and mandalore and all these different planets that they've already renamed in the mod pack when they release different cities on those planets and different quest lines and different NPCs and different voice lines. I think that this mod pack is going to be one of the greatest Star Wars games that we will have in the next 10 years. This has been Sleepy Drago. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I appreciate you guys. Please go hit up Deity Vangi's channel. He's the author of this mod pack. He has a discord where he updates and takes suggestions for the mod pack. I can't wait to see where this mod pack is in a year or two from now. I'm going to continue playing in the next couple days. Please keep your eye on this mod pack and have a beautiful day guys.